Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. So today we're going to do something different. I have never videoed at the store before, but I've been asked a lot about what kind of Dollar Tree inexpensive products I like to use with resin. So we're going to go in pick up a few things, and I'm going to show you some of the things I like to use. Now, you will see some plugins because things that this store didn't have. I went to another store just because I wanted to make sure you saw them. All right, so we're going to start here in the kitchen aisle. These big plastic measuring cups are amazing. Now, they are not nonstick. However, these are items are silicone they are non-stick i love these small non-stick stirring spoons and especially these non-stick whisks these are great for mixing epoxy i love them i use them all the time Now, these containers here, they're salt and pepper containers, but they've got these really big holes. I can't imagine using them for salt, but they are fantastic for glitter. So I use those to store glitter. And then, of course, the glassware, all the wine glasses. I get wine glasses from the Dollar Tree all the time, both regular stemmed and stemless, and they are great to make glitter wine glasses and here are some stemless and then of course our paper cups for stirring our epoxy and mixing our epoxy those are fantastic there's lots of different ones and i like to use these solo cups i cut off the top of them and use them to hold my cups and these small solo cups are amazing they're thick and they work really really good now these containers are non-stick i put epoxy in them part a and part b in separate container this nice big opening here to help you pour out your epoxy easy and i keep these where i want to just have a small amount of epoxy with me they're amazing of course parchment paper and i love buying my parchment paper from here this is the contact paper i use this as a transfer sheet for my cricut now these paper squares fantastic and i like to put these foil liners underneath my turner they are really good. And some people like to use them to hold their glitter in also. Now, those hamburger squares, we went past quickly, but they're amazing. Just little pieces of parchment. Now, if you're going to do Dollar Tree plastic tumblers, these are the ones I'd recommend. You can see there's lots of different colors, but they are double walled. So for putting epoxy on, that's definitely better. Of course, the cotton rounds, very important if you're trying to clean something off your cup, clean out the inside. I love these, and this is where I get them. Epsom salt, I know that sounds crazy, but I love using Epsom salt inside my epoxy for a different look, and I do pick it up here at the Dollar Tree. Temporary tattoos, fantastic for decorating your epoxy and look at this pack this pack is great there's three sheets in there and it's a whole sheet of mermaid scales and it's temporary tattoos now these makeup brushes I love using these. I use them to, you know, clean in the cracks of things, wipe epoxy off with them, wipe off glitter. They are really fantastic. And I love these flat-headed ones. They're my favorite. You can see the shape is really good. And then these other ones, 
I use them. Also, I buy all kinds of different makeup brushes. Now, cheap mica powder. Here you go. So this loose makeup powder is fantastic to use as mica powder. It's basically what it is. And it comes in so many different colors. I use it all the time. And I love it as a mica powder alternative. Tweezers. I pick up tweezers. I love this little pack of three small tweezers. You can get into different areas with them. I love them. Of course, emery boards are great for getting into little places that you need to sand. These little containers for holding all your different embellishments. Fantastic. And this tool, I love this. This is for scraping your nails, but it's also great for scraping your epoxy and all the different nail polish remover, all the different nail colors. I see this as paint. I use these on my small epoxy pieces to paint them. Nail polish is beautiful on epoxy. I love it, and there's so many different colors. Of course, these makeup sponges for putting on alcohol ink. And these, so, so important. These nonstick silicone brushes, they're great for putting on epoxy and doing different epoxy projects. So also, these shower curtain liners, they are great for saving your space and epoxy will not stick on them. Baby wipes super important. That's a staple in doing epoxy to clean areas that you need to clean your hands. Love baby wipes. And then these spoons in the baby section. What a great deal. These spoons are fantastic for stirring and doing different things. I use these baby bottle brushes for cleaning my cups after and then the small part on the bottom for different things. And spray bottles for your alcohol, for water, for your tattoos. These are very, very good products. And then, of course, just storage containers. Storage containers for everything that you need. I like keeping all of my different things separated. And then these wall stickers are fantastic. I love them. I buy them all the time and I use them constantly. And you can find so many different designs. Different stores have different designs, but I really like them a lot. And then, of course, this bling. Love it. I have all the different colors. Looks good in epoxy as well. Some things I gave myself plenty of time. Others I didn't. Okay, so these scrapers. I use these to scrape, you know, my tables and stuff for my epoxy. Of course, all the different paint brushes for painting your cups, painting different things, tons of different paint brushes. More paint brushes and packs of sandpaper. So these are great. This is just a huge pack of different levels of sandpaper for a dollar. You can't go wrong. I love it. And of course, a level, very important to make sure your epoxy pieces are on a level surface. 
and you never know when you need a pair of pliers that you don't mind getting epoxy on. And these sanding blocks are also fantastic. I use this all the time. I love it. And these tarps are great for protecting your area as well as these drop cloths. And this is from a different store, but I just wanted to show you the different types of cutting tools as well as electrical tape because the other store was out of it. But in this store, buy the electrical tape is some more of these different wall decor. And I just wanted to show you because there's so many different ones that you can find. And some of these are just really great decorating your tumblers and stuff, especially if you don't have a Cricut. Like look at these Elsa pictures. I love these. I have a bunch of these and I use them all the time. So just so many different opportunities to decorate your items. And if you don't yet have a Cricut, you know, you're not out of the realm of doing them. And here's all this other, you know, just different things to use for doing your epoxy items, different stones, sand, so many different embellishments that you can use. So they have even some jars of small um, shells also. So really great stuff. Here's photo paper. You know, I use this to make pictures to put on my tumblers. Here is some glitter sticker paper. This works really well. Also looks good under epoxy. And this is also a good area to find some different types of stickers. You can get some letters. So those are great. Now, the reason I'm showing you these, so like the magnets and the different clips, the badge poles, these are all great items that you can use for epoxy projects. So you can make, you know, badge reels, you can make different magnets, different clips, and then these magnetic containers here are great for holding your different embellishments when you open them. And I do want to go back and show you that there's lots of different colors of like the badge reels. I love these. And you just put your epoxy project on them. They work really well. And these bigger containers down here are nice also. And then I want to show you these folders. So these folders are nice, not only for holding things like your stickers, but also because it's a non-stick shiny material, I use these folders and cut out different things for like making my bows, my 3D bows and stuff. And these um, paper holder things also work well. This is another folder that's non-stick. So these are all just items that you can use to put epoxy on and create different items. I really like to do it. And markers. So I use the markers for making my own alcohol ink. And at the other store, so this is the marker that I prefer the best for making alcohol ink. You can use any of them, but these are super saturated and they make really good alcohol ink. Now, of course, these products here, you can find all different products for um, using with your epoxy, but I really love these little silver spoons. They are a really good size for doing um like epoxy letter keychains. They're great for stirring, but I like to use them to put epoxy in like my letters and stuff. Now, of course, the craft department. So you can see all these different embellishments. There's so many different items that you can use in your epoxy and with your epoxy as you can see. 
So different things. So like this glitter, the double-sided tape is great for making different tumblers that people like to do. All these little jars. So the small jars are really good to you put stuff in epoxy over just the little inside insert piece and you can make necklaces out of them these bigger jars i like to use to store mica powder in you can use them to store all your different little embellishments all these different containers super good now, I use all of this stuff. I put inside epoxy. Those feathers looked so cute in a bracelet that I did. I used that fuzz for mon making monster keychains. These spray bottles for my paint, for my um, alcohol inks. And then these other containers I use for epoxy. This double-sided tape is great for doing different looks on tumblers. Of course, little clamps. Paint, 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 and more paint. All different colors. And you can get a lot of different glitter. So this is some of my favorite glitter. I love this blue. It's one of my faves. But I really like this glitter. And it's very nice glitter. And then, of course, the Mod Podge. And then the Elaine's Tacky Glue. Now, is this always the best value? Not necessarily. But sometimes you don't have the money to spend on the best value okay so this is a pouring meeting medium so if you're doing a pour on a cup this stuff works great the thing that makes me so sad though is they cut the bottle in less than half the bottles used to be really big the same size as those bottles of paint but look how small the bottles are now so that makes me very sad. However, it's a very good pouring medium and it really works well if you want to do a pour over your cup. And then the X-Acto knife, that's important. So I love these. These right here work so good for so many things. They've come in so handy. And this little tool is also extremely handy. These are some embellishments from the other store. And then, of course, stickers. Now, again, if you don't have a Cricut, there are so many different decals and so many different letter stickers where you can put a name on, like, a tumbler or something without having a Cricut, and you can make it look amazing. So... You can see there are so many different letter stickers that you can use. And, you know, sometimes you have to go to more than one Dollar Tree because they all have different items. But you can find some really good embellishments for all of your resin items. Now, also, don't neglect the party section. If you have a specific theme you're doing and like a coaster or ashtray or, you know, different things, you can find some different embellishments there. And this vase filler. Okay, so I put these little balls inside and it turned out so stinking cool. Now, of course, don't forget the footballs and, of course, the pool noodles as well. And listen, I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I hope that this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for stopping in. I'll see you later.